What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ordinary E and the final day of upgrading my PC as far as the software inside the PC case goes and that motherboard that I have and if you remember from the last video I had to split it up into a second part because the first part took so long to just diagnose what actually these graphic cards are and what they how they perform and uh, I asked you guys to guess which one you thought it might have been um, I took a guess and I thought it would have been the bigger fatter card uh, at the very beginning but then at the end I found out which one it was and I've actually put them into order so starting from the top to the bottom so this one here the Asus GeForce GT 710 this is the best one out of the bunch and it's the smallest card here almost yep and yeah this is the card we're going to go with um, so coming in second place was this card and the reason I've chosen this one actually is because it has the biggest memory size of two gigabytes and it also has CUDA cores and so I have, something else I also found out was that CUDA cores are associated with NVIDIA and ATI use a different name called something processes I don't know can't remember now but yeah it doesn't matter because we do know this is the best card at the minute doesn't matter at the minute when I start learning a bit more about these things then I'll be able to explain these things better but yeah so the GT 710 is from Asus who actually at the moment are having a bit of a bad time in the press I see um, but listen you can't you got to take your hats off to people who manufacture and think of how to get these things going fantastic so that's the card we're going to clean up and get into the system and we're going to go over there this card here I found out was a GeForce 9400G and that came in second that was similar but the only difference was uh, it had CUDA cores but not as much the number was lower and the memory on this one was about 512 megabytes so that had two gigabytes that had 512 megabytes and then this one comes in third this is the X actually it says on it X1950 XT I've, you know it's a good enough card but it's 256 megabytes uh, mega, me, yeah, megabytes on the memory speed on the memory size and yeah it doesn't seem to have but it's ATI so I should have checked the processes maybe the processes is better and I didn't check that uh, the next one was another ATI uh, graphics card and this one is a Radeon HD 340 something or other can't remember I don't know why they don't say these things on the card or 3450 I think it was then these two came in pretty much similar they're G Force 6 800s and that one's a GS and that one's not a GS and then yeah the rest of the graphics cards I mean we can go through them but is there any point uh, these ones are super low super old as well from about 2003 if you saw the spreadsheet those are the last four on that spreadsheet anyway so yeah, so in order, that's how it is. So what we're going to do now, we're going to download Steam onto the system. So we're going to get a game going. We're going to install the Asus graphics card. Hopefully it works. We're going to clean it up first, then install it. And then we're going to do some benchmarks and possibly play my first ever game on a PC. If I can download a free game from Steam. I don't know if we can. Um, I managed to download one thing off Steam before. If you saw my video where I did the, the mouse targeting test yeah and that was it so what do we do first let's put these away start cleaning that up and yeah let's get into it oh and by the way if you're wondering where did the card in my actual system at the moment where that sits that would have sat around similar to this one so fourth place better than these two but it would have sat around here or here my joint first place probably just about better than that so it would have been fourth place uh, so yeah, let's put it fourth place. That would have been the one in my system. All right, let's put these away. And, and um, as I said, guys, anything I don't use will go into a PC to, that I build, and will be given away. So make sure you subscribe, and uh, tell me where you're from. That's it. All 
Right guys, so just finished cleaning this up with a bit of uh, alcohol super quickly. It wasn't dirty actually because this actual card came out in 2020 so it's only two and a half years old, three years old maybe. Um, but yeah, just done a quick little spruce over it, little spritz and uh, I think that's all that's left to do is install it into the machine. So let's go over to the PC. I am going to uninstall the drivers I have at the moment for the card, remove my card and then put this one in it and then download the driver. I guess we've got to find the driver. I think this is an NVIDIA. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's try and do that. And I've also downloaded Steam so we can pick a game afterwards. We're going to do the bench Heaven Benchmark first um, and see what FPS this card puts out. Let's go over. Alright guys, so we're over at the PC and the first thing I need to do or we're going to want to do is remove the graphics driver that's currently installed. So as you see, as you know, we've got this Catalyst Control Center and it doesn't work anymore anyway. <laughs> Alright, didn't know that. Um, so the first thing I want to do is go to Add or Remove. Can't un uninstall it from there. Okay, so we'll go to Control Panel, uninstall programs, and we'll uninstall it from here. Just double check. There's no other AMD stuff. All right. Uh, change. Next. Uninstall. There we go, so that should start on installing that, and it's gone. Okay, so after you've uninstalled, so it'll be gone from here now. After you've uninstalled that, we're going to do, remove it from, remove the driver. So display adapters, NVIDIA, uninstall, and delete. And holy cow, that's what it looks like without a graphics card. All right. So there's no graphics card there no more. And now... Alright, so it should be a matter of just taking this over here now and putting it in the machine. Actually, let's turn it off first. So it comes with, um, oh, I'll check the power as well. So 200 watts, which is the same as the car that's inside the PC anyway. So the wattage is no different, but it comes with got a DVI and it's got HDMI and it's got VGA. Um, but obviously my monitor only has VGA, so I can only use the VGA. Um, but yeah, let's just basically take this card out and swap it over. So a little tab at the bottom, and this should just pull right out. Like so now this card only had. Uh, DVIs so I had a, a little adapter for that if you remember my old videos all right so this card is now done and in with the new
All right, guys, so the new card is in. Let's power on the system and let's see what happens. So, usually, Windows finds the driver, it might update it by itself. Oh, and now we're in. Let's see if it boots, yeah, boots fully straight into it. Um, so it's hooked up to the card and we're getting a picture so that tells me that we're on the right track now we've got to go and check and see if it's got the right driver and I'll see if I could do screen capture now Silhouettes of you are like a ton Never really noticed what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string you don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head I like you in my bed but you keep me on red Oh, Everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my Always sorry, the conclusion. Even though I offer all of the solutions, I wish you loved me like I love you. It's stupid. When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid. I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid. I wish when I first saw you, I knew this. When I'm with you, I feel so useless. I feel diluted. My heart's been wounded. Silhouettes of you are like a time. Never really noticed what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Okay, so everything has been downloaded all the drivers and the nvidia is working let's see if davinci works please 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 loading up this is what happened with the previous graphics card so nothing different here and there we have it it seems to have loaded so i guess we didn't get the other screen which says to mess around with your settings so new project create yes there we have it so we're in davinci oh i've never used it before so i don't know if i'm going to edit this video with it but i'm going to have to play around and see if i can i can use this so brilliant davinci does work finally we got it working uh, just took a new graphics card so that's great let's check out a game so I downloaded Destiny 2 from Steam because it's free Destiny 2 I know is a big game so I wanted to download a big game just to see if um, if this graphics card can play it so it's three years old I mean Destiny, this Destiny 2 came out years and years ago so let's have a look at what it does Don't know if it's going to load. No, don't think. Oh, hold on. Oh, there it goes. 
You need to open this up. Yes, it's loaded. All right, let me sort this out and go into a, into the level, and we can check the SPS. Uh, check the FPS. Oh dear, okay, we're in Destiny 2. Looks fantastic. From what I'm used to, I'm not used to anything better than this. But I can see in the top right corner this there. This place is an old cosmic a FPS. Russian spaceport. So. Not great. Oh yeah, no, that's not great. Okay, so that's on It's quarantined now <laughs> and quite All dangerous. Right. But our only way forward is through that wall. Oh dear. Nine FPS. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Got no guns. Let's go up to. Uh... What do you think, guys? Let me know. But it's only 10 FPS. It just feels really slow. I mean, look at the jump. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. That's not great. All right, guys. So there we have it. We've managed to upgrade the GPU. I can tell you, I don't know if it's coming across on the screen, but everything looks sharper, the lettering, the colors look great. I've played videos and I showed you a bit of Destiny 2, which had low, so obviously I can't play Destiny 2. It's got a low frame rate, um, but it looked good. And that was about it. Um, I'm also able to edit. I tried I tried to DaVinci, I'm not used to it, so I'm not editing DaVinci on here. I've also tried OpenShot, but it kept crashing. So I'm using a editing software called Cup Cap Cut and it's fantastic. So I don't know why no one's recommended that before, but I definitely recommend Cap Cut. Um, but yeah, so there we go guys. So far we have upgraded the keyboard for free. Everything is free here. I can probably do the speakers, that could be done. Um, the monitor probably could be done, but I've not come across one that's better than that so far. We upgraded the mouse to a better one, a G Logic. There's my eBay setup over there, and then there's my free PC that I've managed to build using Facebook, Trash Nothing, and Gumtree in the UK. So, super happy with the PC. It works, it's super fast. We put the USSD in there, we got RAM in there, but it didn't make any difference. We now have a better graphics card. So, the only thing we can do to upgrade this more would be change the motherboard and start basically again. But we've got components in there now that can go onto the motherboard. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, this video or if you've got anything useful of it please consider to subscribe and like ring the bell all of that good stuff and yeah also make sure you subscribe because we are giving away this pc i'd still have to do some work on it um the next up and coming so that's it for this series because i can't really upgrade this pc anymore other than i think the speakers probably a mechanical keyboard um that's as far as the motherboard goes it can't really take anything more because the pci slot in there was a rev 2 so any other powerful graphics card would have to be an upgrade on the motherboard um we are going to start working on this on the next link of coming videos but i've also got a huge shipment of not shipment but i collected quite some time ago now a big shipment of pc parts so we're going to go through that in the next video and i think a lot of it is laptops um, and I, from what I can tell there's quite a there's quite a lot of stuff in there so I don't need it it's going to be going out to you guys so make sure you subscribe for that and yeah I appreciate you thanks for watching catch you on the next one